In this video, we will install the Centrify console for the purposes of Mac integration into Active Directory. Uh, there's no server components, it's just an MMC. Uh, very simple, all we need to do is go and, uh, you know, uh, in whatever you download the Centrify suite, um, you know, it's going to have a, a Direct Manage 64. I have a 64 bit platform. Maybe you have a 32 bit. All you need to do is go in, in there and run setup. Once you run setup, you'll be, um, you know, it's going to initialize. It's going to prompt you to, to get started. And uh, of course, you know, every time you install a program uh, in Windows, you need to be a, a local administrator. And um, um, in this case, I'm running as Jerry Sanford, who's a domain administrator. He can run that. So he will be uh, installing and initializing that for uh, my Mac administrator, and then he'll take it up from there. Uh, we're going to just uh, agree to the terms, uh, you know, in keeping with the spirit of the test lab guide. And uh, all we need to do for a Mac evaluation, and I've explained this components before, um, you know, we don't need the ADA property extension because we won't be managing Unix identities. Uh, all we need is Access Manager. We don't need the NIST Maps extension. Documentation is always good to have. Um, you know, we don't need uh, the PowerShell module, nor we need any of the other utilities in here. So a very simple installation, and we definitely could need the group policy management extension. A and that's it. You know, um, we're going to go ahead and, and, and do next in here. It's going to create a shortcut for, for that purpose. Um, and, and that's it. So it's going out and doing the installation. So at this point, um, all we have to do is, uh, is go ahead and wait until the installation is over. Now that the installation is over, I'm going to go ahead and press finish. And all we need to do to finish the tasks of the um, Windows administrator for now is just to initialize Access Manager. Access Manager is basically going to uh, require what's the container for certain things. And in here, um, you know, we have the ability to change credentials if needed. We don't need to do that. So it's asking where do you want to place the licenses? In a previous video, I set up this Mac OU with this licenses, licensing OU in there. So we should be fine there. Um, what the Center 5 program is going to do with the installation is going to allow everyone to read that container because those are a place typically for read-only objects. It shouldn't be a concern. Now we're going to type in the license key. Typically, this is provided by your Center 5 um, uh, you know, representative. I'm going to go ahead and, and add this guy here and press next. And in here is asking me to create the zones container. We don't need to do that because it's reading the, that there's a container for the Unix stuff that we did before. So uh, we don't need to do that. In here, uh, it's asking to delegate per permission for computers that are in the computers container. We don't need to do that because we're going to be joining computers under the Mac OU corporate in this instance. So we don't need to do that. And finally, we don't need to register the administrative notification handler because this is just a simple Mac evaluation. So um, at the same time, we don't need to activate the Centrify profile pages because we won't be managing Unix identities through ADAP. Uh, so very simple. Um, and at this point, uh, this is initialized. We don't even need to go into this program and we're ready to basically tell our Mac administrator, hey, you know, everything is ready on the AD side. Feel free to open GPMC and start edit editing the group policies based on your requirements. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and log off our friend uh, uh, Jerry Seinfeld and proceed to log in as Larry David.